Say enough is enough. Say by the blood of Jesus, I command every covenant of premature death to break now. I will not die. I will live to declare the words of God. By the strap of Jesus, I command the backbone of power, standing power. When the blood came down from my father's house, what are you waiting for? Receive one, two, three. Fire! One, two, three. Fire! One, two, three. Fire! One. Say my time has come as you have worshipped God this morning whatever represents a reproach in your life is destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ I said enough is enough every reproach that has made you a mockery before men after to the end of the north, there will be a expire in the name of Jesus. I said enough is enough. I command every embarrassment in your life this morning. Be run away in the name of Jesus. Enough is enough. Whatever is in your life that has been a reproach in your life shall receive a divine intention, a divine intervention. In the name of Jesus Christ, shout Jesus. Come with me to First Chronicle four, nine to ten. I love that man called uh, Jabet. First Chronicle four verse nine to ten said, and Jabet was more honorable than his brethren. No wonder the devil attacked him, and his mother called his name what? Same because I bear in with sorrow. And Jabez called the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, and that had my be with me, and thou wouldest keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. That which he requested this morning, God will grant you. In the name of Jesus Christ, say enough is enough. Say by the blood of Jesus, I command him every reproach that I be closed in tomb against me. Be ever come. That I command the reproach. Be arrested now. In the name of Jesus. Be arrested now. Shall Jesus. Every demon that to distract you from your blessing, they will go down for your sake. In the name of Jesus Christ, say enough is enough. Say I command all my doors of breakthrough, doors of favor, doors of blessing. Let them be open. In the name of Jesus, say enough is enough. Let the pressure blood of Jesus wash away. Every reproach of stagnation over my life, shall Jesus. One of the things that believers suffer in life is what I call reproach. Reproaches come to embarrass men. When things are not working well, men as well, check out this is a reproach. What is a reproach? Whatever does not give you joy is what I call reproach. Whatever make me to ask, where is your God? That's a reproach. When a man does not have evidence and you are living in a life, no evidence, that's what I call reproach. When a man is far behind his mate, 
That's irreproach. When a man is not where he thought he would be in life, that's what I call reproach. Those cases I've mentioned, if your case is the end and it has been reproached in your life, enough will be enough this morning. This morning, I have come with an anger in my spirit against every reproach in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, what is that thing that stands as a reproach in your life? What is that thing that does not make men to see you? In the name of Jesus, they will expire now. They will expire now. Shout Jesus. I have called this morning with a mandate from heaven to declare over your life that reproach must stop from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever gives you secret tears, whatever make you to be ashamed, whatever disgrace and embarrassment you have been experiencing from men, it shall expire, it shall, it shall expire tonight. It shall expire now. Say expired. Shout Jesus! You must know this for yourself that God created you to be honored. You are what? You are meant to be honored. First Samuel 2 30 said, Wherefore the Lord God of Israel said, I said indeed that my the house and the house of the Father should walk before me forever. But now the Lord said, be it far from me, for they that honor me, I will honor. And they that despise me shall be lightly esteemed. And God said, He said, Wherefore the Lord God of Israel said, I said indeed that my house and the house of my the Father shall walk before me forever. But now the Lord said, be it far from me, for they that honor me, ah, for they that honor me, for they that showcase me, I will showcase them. And those that don't honor me, he said, we despise them. If you are a child of God, then you are already a man or a woman of dignity. A man and a woman of honor. God has already granted you with honor if actually you love him. He said in Hebrew 2 verse 7, he said, Thou madest him a little lower than the angel. Thou crowned him with glory and honor and dost set him over the works of the earth. You are wearing a crown of glory and honor. I'm not sure you're wearing it. That's what God said. God has created a place of honor for you. Amen. He has made a destiny of honor for you. Amen. Wherever you go, honor is supposed uh, honor is supposed to be to follow you. Amen. It's supposed to follow you. Amen. Say, my time has come. Amen. Wherever you find yourself, you are supposed to enjoy honor before men. Amen. If that honor is to manifest, then that reproach, a reproach is responsible, which will be dealt with now. Say now. The Bible tells me a story about a young man called Jabet. He was a man who had a reproach in his life. The Bible described him as a man of honor. Let me tell you again. If you have never tasted money, the poverty cannot be a reproach. As if you have never tasted money, the poverty cannot be a reproach. If you have never enjoyed good health, then sickness can never be a reproach. If you have never lifted in life, then struggling can never be a reproach. When a man has enjoyed honor before and sorrow begin to follow him, then he is living under a reproach. When a man has enjoyed money before and poverty begin to follow him, then he is living under a reproach. When a man has enjoyed good health before and sickness begins to follow him, there is living under a reproach. I don't know what has brought me down in life. Maybe you used to be on top and now things have gone bad for you. Maybe you used to enjoy money and now you cannot feed yourself. Maybe you used to be a man of honor and now sorrow is following you. But today, by the power of the Holy Ghost, you shall be restored back. You shall be restored back. 
You shall be restored back. Church Jesus. You are meant to be honored. As a child of God, wherever you go, people have to honor you. There's a mark of honor that is coming on you this morning. So I receive it. You are meant to be honored. I'm a practical example. I was like a, I was like Jabet. Number two, honor is intentional. What am I saying? It's intentional. Psalm 49 verse 20 said, man that is honored and understand not is like the beast that perish. A man that is honored and understand not is like the beast that perish. That is a man that is honored but does not understand is honored. It's like we are finished. Say I'm honored. Say I am honored. You can't love God and you will not be honored. Honor is what intentional. The honor that God has given you is not by accident. God deliberately, deliberately designed honor into your destiny. So you must understand that reproach is not your portion. Say never. You must understand that your portion is in Christ. The portion in you is a portion of, of honor. Amen. That's what the doctor tell you this you don't understand. Say in the name of Jesus, I cast it out. I'm a man of honor. So I'm not sick. Sickness is a reproach. I am not poor. Poverty is a reproach. I will not accept it. Go back to Satan. So as a child of God, you should walk with that consciously in your heart that you are honored. Nobody needs to tell a king how to walk. A king knows that he's a king. And he walk the way he, he walk like a king. He knows that he's a king and he expects the dignity that comes from being a king. Jabez knew that he was a man of honor. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 4 verse 9 said, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And his mother called his name Jabez saying, because I bear him with sorrow. Look at him, his mother. He was born with honor. But the mother looked at him and said, you are sorrow. Say, I reject. He knew that he was more honorable than his brethren. Yet he suffered reproach for many years. Jabet was more honorable than his brethren. He was better than his brother. He was more educated than his brethren. He was more gifted than his brothers. He was more connection than his brother. But there was a reproach of sorrow following him. That reproach followed him until the day that he discovered that honor is in his life was intentional. The day that Jabez understood that God has intentionally made him a man of honor, he reacted against sorrow. He did what he reacted against sorrow. You cannot stop reproach in your life until you understand that honor is intentional in your life. If God did not want you to enjoy honor, he would not make you a man of honor. You will enjoy it. You will enjoy it. If God did not want you to have money, he would not give you what it takes to make money. He said in Deuteronomy 8, verse 18, Say, but that shall remember the, the Lord that God. That shall remember the Lord that God. For it is He that giveth the power to get wet, that He may establish His covenant which He swore unto the Father as it is this day. It is God who gives the power to get wet. It is God who gives you the power to enjoy honor before men. The reproach in your life will stop now. I say, stop it now. I pray, after today, honor will follow you. Breakthrough will follow you. I say, honor will follow you. Shout, Jesus! Honor will follow you! 
What you don't know, Kaamio. What you don't know, Kaamio. If you do not know that something is your right, then the enemy will continue to cheat you. So, so nobody can cheat me again. I'm a man of honor. The Bible tells us that a story about a man called Merikayam, who was a gate man. He saved the life of the king, but he was not given the honor and dignity he deserved. And so he went back to his job as a gate man. He suffered reproach when he should have been honored because he did not know what to do. What you do not know as a Kahamio. Mordecai never knew that honor was his right position. As so he suffered reproach. It is a reproach for a man of honor to remain as a gate man. It's a reproach. Many of us are not where we are supposed to be. We are managing where we are supposed to be flourishing. Many people have great stars. They have been de destined to become great in life. Yet, they have died in shame because there was a reproach working against their star and destiny. But this morning, you are exempted. I pray for you. Every reproach that did not allow you to move forward. They will inspire the name of Jesus Christ. They will inspire by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. What you call challenges are reproach. Challenge they are reproach. First Chronicles 4 verse 10 said, and Jabet called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, thou wouldest bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, and thou art might be with me, and that thou wouldest keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. God granted him that which he requested. I want, to, I want to encourage you. You are a man, a woman of honor. Whosoever has put a reproach in your life, they will go down for your sake. Shout Jesus! I said, the day you rose up, you rose up. Today, as you rise up today to pray, your name will change. People call me a different name now. People call me a different name. They put me a different name now. But that was not the name they called me 80 years ago. 90 years ago. But if I was relaxed, that is the name. Even the name was, will have been abolished now, forgotten now. But the name has changed. I see God changing your name. Genesis 32, verse 37 said, and he said unto him, What is thy name? Oh, Jesus. And he said, Jacob. And he said, That name shall not be called no more. Whatever men are you calling you, that you are being asked to. After today, a kata, that name will change. That name will change. That name will change. He said, That name shall no more be called poverty. Your name shall no longer be called sorrow. Yes. But Israel, for as a priest has the power with God and with men and has prevailed this morning because you have come to God for an intervention this morning. Every reproach that I'm challenging you, they will go into captivity. They will go into captivity. They will go into captivity. Shout Jesus! I declare upon you, whatever represents a reproach, no matter the reproach that, that has brought you to this presence, I promise that before this month is over, the Lord shall do a new thing in your life. He will do a new thing in your life. He will do a new thing in your life. Shout Jesus! Tell my Thomas, come. Until you rise up by the power of God to a challenge that reproach, it will not expire. The day that David rose up to challenge the Goliath in his life, that was the day that the, the reproach against Israel expired. 
every girl in your life that said it will not be well with you this morning they will perish in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ the last reproach will keep arresting and harassing you is not permitted to harass you any longer as they are 14, 19, 24 said, shall the prey be taken for the mountain or the lawful cut delivered? You know, this morning, I want to press upon your life. Then tonight, we are praying marathon prayer. I want to speak into your life. Your life must change to a new tone. I declare upon you that request, that challenge, that issue that has made you live your own and come and seek his face money. Receive a turn around. Receive a turn around. Receive it. Because you have come before him today. You are loose for that reproach. You are loose for that reproach. As you step part of this prayer meeting, I decree that every captivity in your life is over. It's broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shout Jesus! Shout Jesus! Shout Jesus! Your time has come. Can we appreciate Jesus? We can do better. 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 Shout Jesus!